number, timestamp, a visual description. Then, when your list is complete, email it with your name to dotmancomics at gmail.com with the title Dragon Ball Contest. For every correct sighting, up to six, one for Hidden Dragon Ball, you'll earn one entry into a random draw for a grand prize pack. The draw will take place on November 13th, 2020. The grand prize winner will receive five online booster packs of Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage, ten randomly assorted Pokemon TCG online code cards, a month of daily gifts in Pokemon Go, a bound copy of Dotman Comics Chapter 5, and a bonus mystery prize to be revealed at a later date. Five runner-ups will receive five Pokemon TCG online code cards and a week of daily gifts in Pokemon Go. Good luck, trainers. I'm on the wrong screen. I do it every time. There we go. Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and we're here for some Pokemon TCG Online. Let me just make sure things look like they are going to be good. I believe they are. Okay, so far so good. Got the online window set up once again here. Bear with me. With the uh, chat window open, I gotta get my broadcaster open. I gotta get all this stuff behind the scenes ready to roll. And I think we are ready to go. So tonight, I thought, let's just do another kind of casual stream here. Uh, kind of, I guess. It's not going to be like stressful or anything, I suppose, when you uh, consider it. But what I'm going to do today, I have saved up a number of my daily challenges in Pokemon TCG Online. And I guess I'll just take you through what I do on a pretty much daily basis you know, to try and harvest up as many tokens as I can get. So you'll get daily challenges when you log into Pokemon yeah. TCG Online. You'll see stuff like, for example, these ones here. I have to put 10 of a certain uh, typing of Pokemon evolution cards in play. Either Psychic, Water, Darkness, and once I do that cumulative over several different battles, I get myself 60 tokens. And the way I like to do this is go into the Versus ladder here. Because, although I don't exactly necessarily play to win these... Uh, these matches here. It's more about just getting the evolution in play for the tokens. Any wins that I do get, we can manage to get some nice items. For example, if I can get another 30 lightning bolt symbols. And I think you get 10 for winning a match. And other than that, I think you get one point for each prize you take if you don't win. But uh, I see 30 more lightnings to get this nice Gengar and Mimikyu GX tag team. I think I've already got some already. Let me take a look soon. So there we go. No, I've got none of them. But look at this one. Ooh, is that the full art? I don't even know. No, that one is the rainbow. So based on that, I would have... No, this is the full art. What is this, a promo? Might be a promo kind of crap. Either way, uh, if I win that, cool. If not, my main focus is getting the tokens. So just one sec here. Let me make sure things are working good. Okay. Make sure this chat is up. Nice team skull and counter music playing, which I definitely prefer over their battle music. The battle music's decent, but somehow just the this music right here, the encounter of team skull, I just kind of prefer that. All right, without any further ado, I'm gonna start jumping in, and uh, what I'll probably do after each match, I'm gonna throw it out to you folks and say, all right, so I'm gonna try to time it out that. As I click play, anyone out there that is uh, playing along with me can click play as well. And who knows, we might actually sync up today on our uh, stream. So once again, let me check my challenges. I gotta do Psychic, Water, and Darkness. So what deck am I gonna start with? I guess I'll start with Psychic. You can use the deck that everybody seems to use. And that's, of course, exaggeration, not everybody. But quite a few people like to use the Mental Might deck. Take a look here. We have a lot of options for psychic type evolution cards to put in play. Two Scoobat, got three Curlia, two Gallade, and I think that is it. So that's quite a number of psychic type evolution Pokemon to put in play. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's see what happens. I think we're going to claim the Gengar Mimikyu tag team. It'd be cool if we do. Now, sometimes it's going to take several matches to get this uh, done. What I just say, there is a maximum of. Seven psychic type evolution cards I can put in play. If I can get all of them in one go, just do probably one more battle to uh, finish that one up. But failing that, we'll be here for a couple of matches. I could also do this in the tournament setup or the events of Pokemon TCG Online, which are tournaments. But I find this is, I guess, less middle 
kind of thing. It's like you can just do one battle and you're good to go. So if you can manage to accomplish all of your evolution cards in play, you can just uh, end off after that one fight. I'll go first just because, well, I really shouldn't because there's a lot of times you get a supporter card in your starting hand. And if you go first in Pokemon TCG, you can no longer play a supporter card on your first turn if you take the first turn of the game. So I should probably keep going for the second turn. I found that to uh, a wise choice in that a lot of cards, like for example Lily, says draw uh, draw until you have six cards in the hand. But if it's your first turn of the match, you can draw until you have eight cards. You resist Psychic like, Punch. No, that's not great. We do have an Evo Soda, so we can get ourselves a Slubax. If there's such one of my ten. It doesn't matter how you get them into play, all that matters is you get the Psychic type card in play. Which I kind of like with one of the decks I have. I what it is. I think it's Leaf Charge, featuring Sceptile. It's also got a nice Manectric, two of them, with the ability that says if you're going second in the match and you have that Manectric in your opening hand, you can play it as your active Pokemon. Stage one, right off the bat. And it's really good too because that it has uh, a nice attack. Ooh, I can heal. Let's do that. It's got a pretty decent attack where for 40 damage, or you do 40 damage, and you can then attach up to two more basic energy cards from your hand to your bench Pokemon. So that Manectric is a great way to start off the match if you go second. Wishful Baton, you're gonna get some of your energy cards saved. All right, well, if you flip two tails, that'd be great. Okay, then. Well, at least we're not weak to dark. We have our Swoobat. Can we do anything? Another, <laughs> another Woobat right here. Don't do too much. Energy gift with the coin of head, so you get the two second energy cards. Ooh, let's just do the hard stamp for a whopping cat. And that's about that. Especially if you have evolution for a dragon. I don't see it yet. No. All right. Show me the swoop bat in hand. Okay. Show me the heads. Show me the swoop bat. Actually, that's the end. No. What can you find for us? Hmm. Excuse me, getting choked up. Let's not end this off just yet, I suppose. I will retreat the swoop with the Awu back. Who do I want to send up? I'm going to let the Skitty take the hit. Unfortunately, Skitty is our punching back tonight. Let's make sure things are working well over here in YouTube land. Can't see the battle right now. If someone's, if, if people are talking in the chat, just take note that I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not seeing the uh, the chat right now. Hang on, one sec. Who am I gonna send up? I'm gonna send up first. I'm gonna have to reload the page. Well, let's go ahead and drop first. Get that that energy. Let the current active one take that hit. Our streaming window here on YouTube. Extra damage. So I'm gonna flip two heads to get that KO though. That's what I'm looking for. A double miss right there. Curly, and you're not helping me, and you get the Rawls first. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any chat. Nobody is dropping messages, that's cool. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything from the post. I'm just getting off. This is what's uh, wrong with I'm trying to get stuff working on, you know, behind the scenes and stuff. Oh, you evolved into High Dragon. That's lovely. Alright, let's paralyze it. A nice flip the heads. Thank you. At least that's working for us. We have a whopping 100 HP remaining. I'm going to hope for a lot of lucky flips for our tight jaw. I almost feel like I should just end this match to get to the next one because I'm not getting what I need to get these evolutions to play, which is fine, but I mean, every time I play against somebody using the deck, I'm using the they get all their evolutions out super quick, so all I'm saying, game, seems a bit favoritist. The random luck does like to hate me on occasion. Hmm. 
We only need two more knockouts. Okay, now we get some chat coming in. Uh, saying, not sure if it's on my end, but the stream is lagging. It probably is just my my computer. I often get the warning saying, you know, high H or high CPU usage detect. I got another for Alexis. Cool. So when Pika says hi, Damon says you're still good at this game. Awesome. Glad to hear it. It's like riding a bicycle. You never really lose your knack. So as I say, what I'm going to do once this match is done, I'll wait until the stream gets caught up. Then I'll click play. And you folks out there, if you're joining in as well, you can click play. And we'll see if we can match up. Hmm. Kind of want to get no tank power. Hope for another Paralysis. Even if we don't get it, and they knock out Furford, Mill Tank drops Hydreigon next turn with 60 damage. Is that going to help us with our challenge? Probably not, but you never know what could happen. Let's hope they don't get any more evolutions on their side. Well, asking you shall receive, although I wasn't asking for that. <laughs> A switch card, is it? Okay then. Let me go for the Punk Three Fangs. Is the knock? I wanted to knock this thing. Why would you take that away from me? Why would you shut me down? Not let me have any. Thank you. You're a worthy foe. You're a great opponent. Alright, get up there, Mill Tank. Two of our Hammer Ins takes this thing out. Thanks for giving me nothing, game. I love this. This is the fun part of Pokemon TCG. The randomness. Look at the opponent's hand. What's that? Ten cards? The game's giving me potions. That is not how I want to play the game. Look at this. Well, I'm not gonna... I, sh I shouldn't be uh, too upset. The deck that they have is really good at getting cards. That Beware's ability, of course, is good at snagging a couple more. Let me just check something here. Which I think is still looking good. Things are not in place, of course, I just got destroyed. But we got what is that? one point towards our challenge. It's gonna be fun to another match. See, I could have gotten a point if they let me knock out the high dragon. They had the other one in hand. They could have allowed me to get one point. Alright, who's getting this coin flip? Who's gonna call it? Oh, they're calling it. Who's gonna get it? I lost the coin flip. Okay, yeah, that's great. <sighs> Can I go second, please? I'm going first. Why not? Well, they got no basic Pokemon, though. I like that. We do have an Evo Soda, which is all. I got points for my uh, versus ladder, I guess. Also, I forgot to mention, you get these uh, 10 possible rewards as you go. And we got 50 tokens. That's not bad. It's another way to get your tokens kind of built up. Let me check something else here. Just make sure I'm set to the live chat. I don't want to miss any messages if I can. Or if I can help it. So we only need another 15 points to get that uh, Gengar Mimikyu Tag Team GX. Can we do it? Are we seeing that on screen? Yeah, like, okay, here's another thing that I don't understand. This is on my end. It's, uh, the widgets that I have set up for likes and, they're not likes, uh, subscriptions and stuff, they're not working. I really have no idea why. I noticed that last time. It's gonna hide me for now. But notice that the other time, when we had a TCG online stream, they didn't show up. We, we didn't get a subscriber during that one. But, I don't know why. Oh, they had a pumpkin. Oh, they're using the same. No, I had a. What? How many mulligans did each side have? I lost track there. I don't even know. I don't even know if the stream is working. <laughs> I see like hardly any chat. I do see Rogue. Hello, Rogue. Welcome to our stream. As I hope things are working. I'm not quite sure if they are. Okay, okay. so we both had a mulligan. They had two. Okay, now I get it. Because uh, I thought both hands got shuffled back in. I'll take the extra card. I'll put you down here. If we get an energy on you, you can draw extra cards. And like I said, this is more about getting 
my evolutions in play. What's the Great Ball in hand our way? Another Rolfs, that's good actually. We've got two Psychic type uh, stage ones in the end. So I can evolve both of those on the uh, next turn. We've got Spike Draw. Oh, that's. And you hit me for 20? Oh, that's nasty. You hit me for 40 because of weakness and get two extra cards? That's mean. Look at this. Alright, but can I? Looks like you can put that on the Kuku, involve both of our vaults into Curlia. That is three points towards our uh, psychic type challenge. Rogue says you completed your Pokemon deck and you're gonna show you're gonna challenge someone tomorrow. Awesome stuff. And remind me, what were you going for? I think it was you said grass and I think it's a grass and darkness. I don't recall. I, I'm pretty sure it was grass because we were talking about all the different grass types that you can get for powering up like that uh, jungle totem Venusaur from... What was that expansion? I forget. Lady grabbing five, five, four fighting type enemies for their team. They've got the weakness of 40 damage to us. Okay. That helps us not at all. Thank you indeed. Awesome stuff. Look again. What's that? 12 cards that they have? I got one. Damon asked me, is that the Mental Might deck? It is indeed. It's probably one of the better ones that I have as far as getting psychic type evolutions. It's not uh, working for me as far as battle prowess at the moment, but I'll work with it. Again, it's not so much getting the wins, it's getting the evolutions into play. I do want to at least complete one full challenge within the next hour or so, because I forget if it's... it seems anywhere between 8 o'clock my time or 9 o'clock my time that we get the new daily challenge. So I'm gonna try to complete one to open the space, get my new one later tonight. I'll probably do some more of that off screen after. Oh, now this is dangerous actually. This palpitoad. I'm gonna give I'll give you this. This palpitoad here, well let me do my attack and then I'll show it. It does an attack called Mini Earthquake for 60 damage. It says it does 10 damage to each of their own bench Pokemon. That's not terrible. But Throw with the reverse shoulder throw 30 plus. If your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this does 90 more. That's bad too. Tremulous, tre tremulous disc. 80 damage plus 30 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon that have any damage counters on them. So if they had used the whatever that earthquake attack was from the uh, Palpitoad, each of the bench Pokemon would have damage. Think how much that. That attack would do from Seismitoad after that. That is a lot of fun. Evolve Skitty, just get that card out of hand. I would like to have my Hoodoo come up active so I can use that uh, double or dual draw, please. Rogue says you change it to Fire, Metal, and Normal Touch. Alright. wonder how well that works together. Metal is pretty good right now because they have that Metal Saucer, I believe it is. They're just going to keep doing Drought, aren't they? <sighs> hey, Alright game, you have to give me something to work with now. That'll do. Retreat. We gotta get more cards. It's getting silly. Do they have a switch card? They very well might have a switch card. In fact, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be hesitant to expect this deck of theirs doesn't have switch. It is. Because of the high retreat cost on a bunch of those Pokemon. Well, at least we survived that with the... Uh... Alright, give me something to work with. Bring it on. This is why I love the TCG oh so much. It doesn't give you what you need to, and again, look at all of my opponent's stuff. So watch how much damage this does. We are resistant by 20. So this is not going to be quite as much as they're expecting. Maybe. Let's see. Oh wait, no, you're using. Sorry, that wasn't even the attack. That's the attack. We can handle that. All right, might as well send up Curlia. We can do up to 40 damage, which would be nice. I was kind of hoping that you're going to give us the evolution. That either are you. I'll tell you what, let's start powering up this next one. Uh, let's draw a card for each energy you pass to Curly, because we're going to get the Galley. 
You ain't getting no galley at all. So once again, I'm gonna check something here and see if we can get these to work. I don't know why it shows the text. It should be working. It looks like subscriber is working. Oh, the member. no, member's not connected. I don't get this. I'll just leave the subscriber active, so if we do get another subscriber during our stream, we can at least see that. What is my computer doing? I look away for two seconds and I lose my curly. That's just wrong. Alright, get up there, other curly. I probably shouldn't have sent it up in case I don't get the galley. So we're gonna play it like this, we're gonna play Pokemon Fan Club. I'm gonna grab a couple of basic Psychic types just to get them. I'm getting those two out of the deck right now. Because that gives me more chance of a galley being in the top to get two basics there. Let's go with the Great Ball, come on! Yeah, but I do have this Wubat, or Swubat, let me grab that. And just for the sake of getting more cards, let's do the Tiptoe Step, drop two more. There's galley. So... Hmm, well, let's see. Miltank can only do 80 once we get galley on the bench. They're gonna win this. So all this is is just a matter of letting get knockouts until I can evolve this button. Alright, go up there for a group. This is not the most glorious example of how to play the game. But that's what I got to work with. So what do you do? Alright, powerful storm does more damage based on how much energy my Pokemon is. And that ain't gonna be good. <laughs> Damon sent a friend request. Awesome stuff. I'll confirm that in a little bit here once this match is over. This, if we get this challenge done quickly enough, I'll probably do a second one while we're all here together. Just because I can. So I can't swift lunge. And two energies. But right there, that's about all we can do for this match anyhow. And that's all the evolution. No, we actually technically would have one more galley to uh, get more of our challenge complete. But I don't think we're getting that in play very lost. Both of our other curly up on the hit. Rogue is going to go battle your friend now, you gotta go. Alright, good luck in that upcoming match. Hopefully you do decent. You smile at me for water vapor. Check this out. You think you got something? I'm going to heal. And now I'm going to hit you. Ten. Now, all you got to do is click attack. Do they just go for There it is. Quite often, we're at the point where they just got to attack me. But the people start playing out cards like, oh, I can play this, I can play that, I can play that. I generally give them three cards before I you know, quit the match. So I hang out for a little bit. If they're doing a daily challenge, they can at least get something off of me there. But uh, if they go more than three cards, it's like, come on. Stop away from my time. What do I do? Requests. There is Damon. He will be burned. Except, alrighty. So I'm going to jump back in for a, another map. I've only got a couple more Psychics to uh, evolve up and get that challenge right. Take your easy there, Rogue. Hopefully you do well in the back. Mental might. It's a mirror match. Alright, give me the coin flip. Give me the heads. Give me the tails. I'm not calling it, but give me the choice who goes first. Lost the point. Alright, let me go second, though. I want to play my sport. All right, at least we have a basic. I was going to say, and if I start with no basic, that's the triple threat that I despise so much. I don't choose the coin flip, I lose the coin flip, and I have a mulligan. Those are not fun when everything hits you all like that. Let's drop the goal for at least some backup. I'm going to great ball first, it'll be fine. We're all set. Well, well. I'm gonna actually grab Fusion. So we can use that double draw. Let's retreat new back. We do have another energy in hand to pass to Fusion next turn. Essentially, just to keep getting as many cards as I can. I don't want to risk the Cybolt from Rawls paralyzing my Uba while it's uh, on the bench, or in the active spot, and you can't switch then. Then again, if they do get Cybolt on Hootoo to paralyze Hootoo, they can't attack anyway. But. Let's hope that coin flip is not in the If they even give it energy, they might want to power something else up on the bench instead. 
think they're getting all the heads. That's great. Awesome. Let's read this thing. Another Rolf, Professor's Letter. I've got nothing to work with. Well, I've got Tierra now. But he's going to draw me nothing but energy. Even though know, energy you do need to work with. Hey, there's another energy. Let's see what Tierra now gives me. Alright, options actually. There's an evolution. Hmm. Let's go ahead and double draw. Look up the ferret and see what we can do. The boss is not going to help us here. I need to get a boss on the match. The only way this is going to work is if I do happen to get a Ralts, use my Ego Soda next turn, get Curly up, play Gallade on the following turn for another evolution. And I think that would be enough for the challenge. Let me get the Curly. Start powering Mill Tank regardless, however. Let's go ahead and double your dual draw. Give me a couple. Give me the Ralts. Three in the deck, and I know it's still not a high percentage of getting it, but come on. I mean, you could even give me the Pokemon fan club. That's in there, too, so that would be four cards that could gain me access to all. If I drew a great ball, that's a kind of a fifth card. That's dependent on where in the deck that Ralts is. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of chances that I'm getting Ralts soon. Game decides, it doesn't want to make it happen. There we go, we got the Ralts. I'm going to roller skates. I got heads, okay. I usually don't <laughs> get heads on that. I shall bench you that. I'll start powering up this brawl because we're going to probably see Galley in the next couple of turns. Let's draw again. And I really don't even mind if I deck out. Hey, Curly in hand. And another uh, Swoobat. Nice. If I do happen to deck out, I'm not that concerned about it. I would like to get the wins for our versus rewards, but if it doesn't happen, no biggie. No biggie at all. So I completely lost track of what I said I was going to do. After this match, I'll hold off for a little bit, and I'll wait till the uh, stream kind of catches up, and I'll wait for you folks to uh, pop and jump into a battle as well. Alright, dual draw. We got stuff. Professor's letter is good. Getting a couple basic energy out of the deck, making sure that's fewer basic energy that you'll draw from the top, potentially giving you a better shot for more useful targets. I don't know why those widgets aren't working. They're clearly not as uh, good of a YouTuber as I would like to be. Alright, Galley is powered up. Let's grab a couple of our basic psychic energy. I think now it's time to start doing some damage. I'm gonna retreat Hoot Hoot. I'm gonna let uh, the powerful friends do their thing. 80 damage per hit at this point. But all this time, what have they done on their side? They don't have a Curlia yet in play. This can do 15. Can't quite knock it out in one hit from Milton. But, we do have a Pulse There is a Sharp Fang, so 50 damage. If I heal, I will survive the next turn. I'm going to power up. Sweet bad over here, I believe. I'll save that potion for the next turn. So I can get the full use of it. If I heal now, I'm only going to kill 20. As opposed to a full 30 heal when I take more damage. Alright, we have a uh, Delcatty on the opposing side. I'm, I'd be surprised if they yet don't have Curly. Because... You shouldn't do a ball button with all those cards in hand. I would think, anyway. Could be mistaken. Tight jaw for paralysis. Don't get it. Awesome stuff. Let us heal again. I'll heal, or sorry, I'll power up speed back here. Go for the powerful friends for another 80 damage. That's another prize. And they've got mill tank. Ooh, the escape rope. They got their own mill tank over there. Not, uh, no stage twos on the bench yet to make use of power. But they're gonna hit me for 60 damage with hammer, uh, with hammer I think they're preparing for a galley. So here's what we're gonna do next. I'm going to play the escape rope. Let's let them switch out. I guess I'll bring up galley. Probably should have waited because we can still. If we lose Galley, we lose the power of the powerful friends. Ah, it's too late. 
Uh, 20, 80 with swift lunge. Let's just do that. It's guaranteed knock him. I'm not gonna do the math on how much energy I have. 20 damage times each of my Pokemon's energy. That still would have been the knock. Yeah. That would have been 140, I believe. Catch one more, that's gonna be a nice 160. So we can definitely drop this Milton. You're begging on that Ralt, aren't you? Take 60 damage. This is one of our Pokemon, our, uh, our Gallade here. We still have options for Ralts, Curlia in the hand, and uh, Evo Soda. Let's keep. Well, never mind. I'd say let's keep powering up our goal right there, but that is a win. I once opened one of these mystery gift boxes. 375, I think it was. Tokens. There's another 50. I'm not gonna shake my head. And that does complete. The superior mind, it's another 60 tokens. Okay, I'll go for one more, but I'm gonna take a pause for a moment. So it is 110 total. Okay, I was gonna say, should it be more than that? But no, 50 from the gift box, 60 for that. Alright, bear with me here for a second. I'm gonna make sure the stream looks like it's doing okay. I believe so. So far, so good. And again, I'm just gonna say if the if you know people are bench or messaging in the chat, it's not showing up that uh, often. So I hope there's not an issue with that. All right. So at this point, I'm gonna hold off. I almost have that uh, GX tag team. So I'm gonna wait until the stream gets caught up. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna put my hand up and know when to click play. So when I when you see me, you know. Okay, what we're gonna do, I think, is I'm making this up on the fly. As soon as I hold up both hands, click play. Because uh, that's we're gonna, we're gonna jump into the match. So both hands are up. I'm clicking play right now in real time, waiting for you folks to see if you're watching, you know, the live feed right now. Because I'd like to see if we can match up with uh, some folks out there. You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna change that. Because I just realized I gotta choose a different deck. Let me go back to my challenges. I am so not with this. Okay, water type evolution. All right, let's go back to versus. I got 16 minutes till the next challenge comes up as well. So what is a good deck for getting water evolutions in play? I definitely like Bright Tide. Uh, we have a Gold Duck, that's one. We got Cloyster, that's two. Three, four for Brione, and five, six for Primarina. Are there any others that have more? Basic Blue might have some. We got three, four, five. Let's see. Uh, Six, seven, eight. Actually, yeah, we have nine for basic blue, so I might as well just jump in with that. All right, now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to, again, when I, when I hold up both hands, like this, hit play right now. Do it, quick, do it. Click play. I'm gonna do the same thing once I see that you folks have seen me do the two hands, and then we'll see, can we match up? Wait for it, wait for it. And I'm about ready to hit. Come on, hurry up, stream. There we go, I hit play. So, I wonder if we'll get to sync up like that. And Neon City asking, can we battle? Well, today is going to be just uh, me finishing off the water type challenge right now. And we're just going to call it a day for there. I am planning to have a you know, full fledged TCG online stream pretty soon. Um, I got to see. Oh, no, not one person. I got to see when officially Vivid Voltage is for sale. Uh, who do I want to lead with? I think we have more options. I'm gonna leave with Buneary, because if that gets knocked out, I'm not too upset. No offense, Buneary, but you're not our uh, intended goal. But yes, I'm gonna find out exactly when we're having the Vivid Voltage go on sale, because I'm doing a definite day of release for uh, Vivid Voltage, and we'll have a more fleshed out interactive stream at that point. Okay, so Silence, we find basic energy. Is it just basic? It is three basic energy, okay. Just to get them out of the deck. I don't know if it's gonna help us that much, but I can pound you for 10. Might as well do what I can. Let's see. That's not terrible. If you guys can really try to find me some cards. We could paralyze with Tim. Now you watch, as soon as we lose Baneri, I gotta make the choice which of my two Pokemon go up. And you know, as soon as that one that I choose gets knocked out. I'm gonna get its evolution in here. That's how it's gonna work. 
the, can I predict the future? What do you think? I'm, I'm taking a guess here. So you're already doing 70 damage. I really think many cards these days are somewhat broken in the sense of how <laughs> how well they can work together. Really? I'd like that Lily, but this is way back in the black and white section. But yeah, look at that. For two energy, you're already doing 70 damage. It's all dependent on getting that on the bench, which they can easily do, as they just did with that Pokemon communication. So, this is it. In fact, what's going to happen, I'm going to flip at least one heads, and I'm going to draw the Milo tip. Fooled you! Of course I'm not going to get the luck like that. Now, they're going to let me top deck Milo tip next turn. That's what's going to happen. That's how it's going to be. I've seen these things happen before. I'm well versed in how the game decides to send luck my way. I'm sure you still look good on the stream. The downside is one whole window or one whole screen. I got two monitors set up. Well, okay. As I was going to say, didn't I call that, but not really. But one of the monitors is completely the game itself. And I paralyze. Let me flip a heads, please. That's three tails in a row. That is, what is that? That's a 12.5% chance of happening. Now, people will say each individual flip 50-50 is not effective or whatever. But it's like, but still, technically, for those three in a row to happen like that, that is a 12.5% chance. Boy, let's get some more energy. All right, does the game now give me the odds that I deserve and let me flip heads for paralysis? Let's find out. I'm just going for the knockout. Just one card you didn't need to play. Totally unnecessary to drop an energy on that Pokemon when they decide to do Slight disrespect. Not the full three cards that I do get. Alright, I'm sorry, I just jumped in again. I like call it being too frustrated wanting to get this over with. I'm calling the, the heads, I'm getting the coin, I'm flipping it. I won, I won the match! <laughs> okay. I think that gives me the tag team as well. Let's find out. I flipped one head to that whole match. Thank you, got it. Thank you, got it. I got it. Very cool. Gengar Mimikyu GX and Mr. Shark Bite has broken the like button once again. You're so good at that. You do that every single time. As long as you're able to replace it for everyone else that pops in afterwards. All right. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to jump into the next match. When you see me do this, which I've just done, do it. Click uh, click play. See if we can link up. Now I've got to watch for myself to do that. I've lost my chat window. Hang on. Uh, all right, I'm gonna watch myself, wait for the double hands, and see if I can sync up with somebody right there. So who all is playing right now, actually, just out of curiosity? So like Pika says, you love when people forfeit right away. I um, kind of do. Like, I kind of do, but when I'm doing the challenges, like I want to play my evolution cards, I want the match to go. But in the end, I mean, you still gain a lot of, uh, Good stuff from those mystery boxes. I want to flip again. I ain't going first. And you can get, uh, you know, move up the ladder as well, the versus ladder. I'm mulling. I've got 84 basic Pokemon in this deck, give or take, and I'm mulligan. How many mulligans do I get? One. One mulligan. Oh, oh, oh. But I do have a Milo. I want to get another Pokemon though, in case the uh, whatever they lead off with can one shot our two backs. So Pika is currently in the middle of a match right now. Can you one shot? You can't one shot. Um, Ambipom might be able to. So I gotta see what the Great Ball gives us. I could play N. Well, we have Timple. I'm not gonna play N just yet. We're gonna Great Ball it up. We find the Toad. I'm gonna grab that. Okay. I don't have a switch card. I would like a switch card. I'm gonna give this to Feebas. I'm gonna take a chance that they can't one shot. Well, they didn't even give energy. So it might be okay. 
Double heads, double curse. Thank you very much. Great ball, crushing hammer. This one's looking like it might be decent. Watch them forfeit now, as I've got all this. No. Get out of here. Fione. You know what that ability does? Portal Tool Suction says, once during your turn, if this Pokemon's on the bench, you may have the opponent switch their Pokemon. They're active with one of their bench. And if you do, discard all cards attached to Fione and put it on the bottom of the deck. And they just went with Tate and Eliza, which is fine. Uh, my hand stays the same. Damon has a theme deck from the in-game shop. It's now your best deck. Nice. Some of the theme decks are amazing in here. I like it. Oh, I like this. Okay, that attack is great. Let's go ahead and evolve you up and evolve you up. I'm going to not evolve you up, but I'm going to play you. Um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to use Milotic for uh, Clear Search. Search your deck for any three cards and take them. That's great. I'm going to start powering up Oshawa. So let's now go from Great Ball. We have... Hmm. I'll get another Oshawa, because we do have a couple Duat and uh, Samurai in the stack. So let's play N. Let's help my opponent out, give them some cards as well. Each of us shuffling back in our hand and then getting a one card drawn for each prize card. That's not bad. All right, clear search. I want to find all the evolutions I can get. So I'm going to get a another Samurai, and let's get the Seismo There's a lot of evolutions in hand. Oh, Damon has fallen to the uh, the darkness that is known as the Mock Strike. That has a it has a what is it a, a presence on this channel, the Mock Strike. I mean, I don't blame you when you say it's your best deck. It is a very good deck. It could definitely be made better if uh, you had extra like Garchomp, Cynthia, and Lucario. But just the deck, it, ugh, Cynthia. But just the the deck itself is a theme deck. It's amazing. Just uh, <clears throat> trying to bring it by my way, if you don't mind. <laughs> who, so, who here uses the Mock Strike deck regularly? Again, not gonna, you know, criticize sense to use it. But for me, it's more like, eh, I don't want to subject my opponents to that. It's, 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 it's such a strong deck. Okay, let's keep on evolving up. Keep getting our samurai ready to roll here. Might as well play Crushing Hammer. I want the tails. I just want to get this out of my hand. Oh, it's all right. That was draw energy. Yes, it was. All right, let's go ahead and clear search once again. We got the two samurai we need. I can get. We have another Milo tip. No, we don't. All right, but we have Tim Pole. We can get the Palpitoad. And let's get some energy. Now. Let's get silent. I like this deck. Now that it works, Empoleon has destroyed Sailor Pika. I know that deck too, I'm pretty sure. Is that the one? I, forget, I think it's called Imperial Command, and it does 20 damage for every bench Pokemon, which is crazy to think about, because not only is it using its own bench backup to attack, it's using your own bench backup to attack you as well. Like, huh? So it's 20 damage for every bench Pokemon on either side. One sec here, folks. All right, we'll keep on doing the old clear search as well. So what do they got going on over there? They got themselves a trim pluck. Oh, I might be destroyed by Empoleon myself. Who knows? Let's keep these evolutions going. I'm gonna probably start attacking on the next turn. Maybe once I get enough energy on our first samurai, I might as well. Got myself more basic energy for the power up in. And what do I want now? Do I have a silent in here? Yes, I do. And let's grab these experience shares. Kind of makes sense. We'll start putting experience shares on things like the Seismitoad and the other Samurai. So we can start, like, once our first Samurai goes down, we can at least keep two of those energies in play. Cynthia being played once in the deck after shuffling the hand back in. We now see. Wait, were they not even... Yeah, they could have been using Scampering Tail. Not that it really affects strategy too much. But they could have been taking the top card of my deck and putting it on the A little bit of an annoying a -pong. But they didn't do that. So that works for me. How much can I do? Destructive Whirlpool does A, and we can discard energy attached to the defending Pokemon. That's not... What are you up to? You draw two cards. Okay. 
so that it's not like the hoot hoot with the dual draw where I get two cards. So how many evolutions have I played? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that almost completes the water challenge we have for right now. And depending on how much further this match goes. Well, I have even one more evolution, Palpatoad, right here in hand. So that's eight. I only need to get two more in the next match, and I have completed the uh, water challenge. Goes down, let's play silent, grab another three basic water. There's a lot of buildup in this match, but we are now ready to destructive whirlpool. Get rid of that water. Alright. I'm gonna start taking some prizes. I forget, was there only the one seismitoad in the stack? I think there might have been just the one. What I like too about some of the theme decks, they have the rescue stretchers, which lets you re or retake a discarded Pokemon back into your hand. So sometimes, if I have to like play electric evolutions and I have a Manectric knocked out, I can rescue stretcher, put it back in, and evolve another one of my uh, Electric to further complete that challenge. So the little Pokemon communications are going to reveal a Pokemon from your hand, shuffle it into the deck, and then choose another Pokemon from your hand. They're getting themselves quick luck. You no space on the bench for that pick look, now is it? You can do 80 and heal. You can do 80 and discard energy. Hmm. Well, at least we can retreat for one energy for a uh, mile So there is their pick look. Okay, that works. They got the Fiona off the bench to make space for pick -up. Now, is Manaphy a basic Pokemon in this as well, I wonder? Uh, Fiona definitely is. But there's that whole confusion about how... Um, Manaphy you got from, what was it, Pokemon Ranger, I think? But the... You, you couldn't really breed that. You could, you could breed it, but it would hatch into Fiona. Excuse me, sir? I dare you. So what attack was that? Does damage to one of the bench Pokemon. So if I bring our Samurai up, we can't be targeted by that again. Okay, let us start powering up. Oh, I already did it. Never mind. Uh, how much can we do with other attacks? We need two energy for off the fall. Recall lets you use one of the attacks from the previous evolutions. So either 20 for water drip or. 80 for bubble hold, so that would knock us out regardless of our potion. Yeah, we only have 70 HP left. Alright, so in that case, what do we want to do exactly? I'm just going to go for the damage here. Destructive World. And what do we need? Echo Voice. Hmm. They only have 60, no sorry, 80 HP remaining. And we do 80 to our actual Pokemon. Good one to you, good one to you. Well, at least we can do damage if I send up Samurai. Well, that's the play. Samurai comes up, we get the energy for the waterfall. Let's play Crushing Hammer. I mean, it's not gonna do too much to uh, for us. Let's go for 50 damage of Waterfall. So they can hit anyone on. If they give an energy, they can hit anyone on my bench for 100. Or they can hit my active for 80. And those are your best attacks. I'm assuming we're gonna lose one of our. Well, maybe our key bass. 30 HP, at least that's a prize for him. Maybe they go for it. Palpatoad's a target as well. Milo can survive. There's this tool scrap or discard any of the tools. They don't have any tools on it, so that is nothing to do Let us. They have another Empoleon. I'm gonna get this to size the toad. Go ahead and waterfall. Take out this and hold on at least. It'll snag us one of our prizes. Go 
I'm gonna do 60 HP, that's the problem. So I can do 50, well, hmm. We'll survive a hit from it. What I can do is give Samurai another energy, and then use Energy Switch to take it from Seismic Toad onto Samurai. That'll be enough for 80, and then also tossing that energy away. Go ahead, take out Milo Tip, it's fine. Here goes our help, but that's fine too. And Dog Doggo sent a Pokemon friend request, a Pokemon Go friend request. While I only accept those during streams that will do, yeah, you, I only have I, I've got like almost no space left on the friends list right now, so I only uh, accept Go requests when we're doing a live stream. I am gonna do another one of those at some point soon as well. So you hold on to that. Just when we do that stream, just remind me that you sent it and. I'll have to burn that. Alright, let's do the Destructive Whirlpool, do the 80 damage. What we're gonna do is probably they're gonna take out the Milo Tick or the Feebats with their direct eye. They might even go for the top or just get some damage on them. Or they could hit me for 80 is an option. Direct eye, which of you do we lose? Milo Tick is dead. That's alright. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so now we're going to... We're going to hang on to Lapis for now. I want to make sure to get this Napoleon on out of here. Okay, we're just going to see if we can uh, take care of someone from the There we go. Bring back our game. Get back to what we're supposed to be focusing on. And let's go for the Destructive Whirlpool, taking down the other Napoleon. Don't think we have any more on their bench. I see a couple of... Uh, Kyogre, it looks like. We have a gold duck. We have that Amber Palm as well. Alright, a couple of gold duck, a couple of Kyogre, and Amber Palm we gotta deal with. And that is the first Kyogre. So I'm thinking if I can get Seismotoad powered up with, well, with Echo Voice, we can then start doing 100 every turn after our first hit. What do you do? High water, attach two water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Well, I mean, at least we can kind of slow them down slightly. We can discard their energy of destructive world here. Let's play Oshawa, because I can start getting more evolutions in the play also. I'm down to 13 cards in the deck. Oh no. Destructive Whirlpool take you know, to get one of those waters. So that should hopefully slow them down a bit. We need to put two energy on to get the swirling waves. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. Actually, they're down to 14 cards left in the deck, too, so this is working out decent. So, what did I say? We're at 7 evolutions right now. I think we'll do 8 if we can get you out of the down. What are we going to do? Why don't you... I would have given it to the other Kyogre myself. We're about to take you down. Which energy should I discard, do you think? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, like... It's funny how, like, even though the all it's gonna get knocked out, they gotta make the choose. I guess because okay, no, the reason they would make you do that is if I knock it out with that destructive whirlpool, I would then choose an energy to discard, and then their say like if they have a um, was it experience share, they would have to choose from the remaining energies of uh, what they put on the Pokemon. You really want to do that one thirty, don't you? I mean, involving that's not going to help us with our challenge. So let's just go ahead, go for the destructive whirlpool. We're going to take 130 in exchange, but we do have our seismic toad ready to roll. We have the experience share too, so we can gain one of those uh, water energy and see if we need to start it. We're doing okay-ish. This concerns me. If it evolves, we have a pew pew pew, pew as well. That is. Not too concerning, I guess. Alright, let's play our potions out. Heal up a total of 60 damages. And just go ahead and destructive whirlpool take it out. Two prizes remain. We've got a fully energized samurai. Basically, we've got a fully energized size metal as well. I think we're good. We got gold up. Why do you guys have such energy or such HP? I want to be able to one-shot you. 
So this can hit for 30, which is one of those potions that we just used. So the stream is good. It was funny, as I was setting up the stream today, just uh, for whatever reason, I think I was getting something set up, and then I just did this, like, the space, but then my webcam froze, and I was thinking, should I just leave it like that? You guys come in on a face like that? Okay. What did they just grab? They got, uh, Fiona. We're gonna try to do some switchery moving here. Hmm. Don't know if I would have energy to retreat, so I'm going to... I'm gonna bring up Seismic Or at least that's something that we can do some damage with. We can't get the Drain Punch powered up yet, unless we happen to draw another basic energy. But we can start with the Echoed Voice, 50 on the first turn, and then as it says, during your next turn this does 50 more damage. So at that point, every turn afterwards, I'm going to be doing 100 as long as they don't send me back to the bench or something. Let's hang on to N for now, just in case I need to put all my cards back in. And that's what I like about a card like that. So if I'm close to decking out, I've only got like, say, two or three cards left. I could just play N, shuffle everything back in, and just draw like two, for example, here, because I only got two prize cards. So you wouldn't be in any danger of decking out anytime soon. I'm getting not ready for battle. Eight and Liza, how's that going to go? Okay, this can do 120. Discard up to two cards from your hand, this does 60 damage for each card you discarded in this way. We'll survive the hit. Can't drain punch. But I can do 100 damage this turn. Or I could not do drain punch and heal 20 from myself. I just do that. I might as well get the knockout as well. And one prize remains. What's this one gonna be? And then the final one. So we've got another tool scrapper. Does that discard mine as well? Yes, okay. I can discard my own experience shares if I really wanted to. Wouldn't really help that much unless I had a card to get tools back from the discard pile. I'm gonna draw two cards with a nice, nice catch. I like that. Nice, nice catch. And then we've got bye bye throw. There you go, Kelsner. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That is Andrew Let's go ahead and use the drain punch once again. Even if you do, use your bye-bye throw, take the outside the toe. We've got our little buddy in Samurai waiting in the background. Rogue One! Hey, that was a Star Wars movie. Congratulations, Rogue! Hopefully, you won very well. How many prizes did the opponent have left after this? That is the question. Come on, we're gonna lose size with Toad. I know it. You gotta get energy on there. Actually, we win, because they can't draw a card on their next turn. Go ahead and knock size until it's down. It's fun. Do I do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do the jerk maneuver? Just because it's over anyway. I'm doing it. Get him, Feebass! That's right. And, and that's the win there because they have a in. Which is good I didn't play the end earlier. I really, you know, wouldn't have got the win this way. So what do you think? 375 tokens? What's gonna come out of this mystery box? You need to get booster packs out of this. For example, 25 tokens. I want 25 tickets. I was like, why was it at 9 already? That was weird. It showed the current result before the, you know, filling it up. Alright, a new challenge. So here's the thing. For doing 1,000 damage overall, various battles, you can get 35 tokens with that type. Uh, these are my favorite ones to go for, the Gleaming Steel, it's 60 tokens for uh, putting 10 uh, Metal Evolution cards in play. Or you can do this, this gives you a booster pack, randomly chosen, and say knock out 16 opposing Pokemon with your Darkness type Pokemon. I don't like doing those that much, because, you know, quite a lot of times I'm close to getting a knockout with a certain type, and then the switch and stuff. I find that more frustration than it's worth, but 
I do like these because the more tokens you get, you can spend those on whatever booster pack you want. You know, on like this uh, right here, say fade to black. These booster packs are trade locked, so you can't get these and then you'll be able to trade the cards afterwards. So the same as the tokens that you spend and get booster packs, those packs are also trade locked. So I do prefer things like this. Grab like that one. Even this here too, like if I get to like 590 lightning bolts, I'm going to be getting two of the Darkness of Blaze boosters, but everything in the Versus is trade locked as well. If you're looking to get non-trade locked items and um, let's say what are they? Uh, chests and stuff, you want to go to the events and say view the rewards here. Even for just participating in this particular one, for example, 5th uh, to 8th place, just by playing, you're going to get an uncommon chest, and that can have some uh, tokens and cards. In it. Uh, if you at least win the first match, you get 50 tokens, you get a random standard booster, and these are tradable that you get from the events. So you can either open it, get the cards, trade the cards out, or just trade the sealed pack or something like that you're looking for. So that's a little trick you can use to try to get yourself some more tradable content here in Pokemon TCG Online. Alright, one last shot. We're going to try one more match because I think I should be able to get one Water Evolution in play. So I'm going to wait and see how we're doing. Yeah. So again, as soon as you see this, hit play. Do it right now. Quick! Let's see if we can match up. I'm going to do that as well once I see the stream has caught up to us, or caught up to me, as we're doing this live. And then I think we'll probably just end off after this match. So I'll get myself something into the... Uh, munch on just before getting ready for bed. It's currently quarter after eight. That doesn't sound like it's late. In fact, it's not late. But I'll try to get up early-ish tomorrow. Try to get some more gifts for some Pokemon goers out there. Alright, where's my windows at? Where's it? Oh, it's the Charizard deck. We love it. But we are using a water type deck now. We're gonna call the heads, we're gonna call oh. Well we're gonna take the second turn though. Thank you, Pascal Long. Hand us that, uh, take that first turn for yourself. You want to get your evolution. Ah! Oh, I can't play a supporter. I don't have a supporter. Works for me. Hmm. Now we lap this. This is good, too, because since I can't attack on the first turn, I'm going to be able to have two energies played down before I even get to attack. So this water arrow will be powered and ready to roll. 20 damage to one of the opponent's Pokemon. I can hit the bench if I want, but if the active is a fire type, uh -huh. I could have done more damage. Let's the Lapras toss this on our Oshawott. I really want to try to get that Milo tick in play. One energy searching for three cards of your choice, that's awesome. I don't know if, they, yeah, they'd be expanded still, I believe, because I think, uh, from what one of our members actually, Alex, had said previously, I think the expanded format still goes back as far as black and white base set. How are you doing, How Draw three more cards. They did that the right way, played the Nest Ball to get out a Pokemon first. And that's one less Pokemon, like a Char Charmander, that they might draw from How. And the Timer Ball, I wonder if they got that off of How. I'm going to flip two heads. I guess that's fine. It's like a Doduo. It's like, what else has two heads? Weezing. Yes. Random question just came to mind. So you know how we have Coffin? And when you evolve into Weezing, another Weezing is like... Is it supposed to be growing from the first Weezing? Or is it, uh... Two of them have stuck together? I'm not sure if I ever really understood that connection. Let's see... Oh... No... Mm, I was gonna say, no things to play down for evolution. Let's just grab the females. But, if they ever had, like, another ev evolution for Weezing... Do you think... It should have more heads, or should it be separated from the other reason and be its own piece once again? I don't know. I don't know if I would like seeing multi headed reasoning, or whatever it would technically be. I've always thought <coughs> hacking could be a good third name for uh, wheezing and motion mind. Are you home? What are you up to? What are you doing, Nina Ran? You get your energy on me now. What's up? What's your plan? You're gonna retreat? You go hide? You're gonna find some more basics? You're gonna evolve? Oh, but now my surf won't knock you out! That's not fair! I wanna go knock it! Well, 
Well, we got Tim Pool, which is interesting because with the great ball I played, we did have a Palpatone to choose from. Which, if I had known at the time, I would have taken it. But all I need is for Nido Queen to not evolve in the active spot. That's all I'm looking for right now. But what I really need is N. That'd be great. Um, what else do we get? Silent wouldn't help. That's just interesting. I just need to get new cards in my hand, because I have, obviously I have none. So, any cards would be great. Perfect. Nino Queen does a powerful 110 with how things are set up right now. They do 10 base damage, but then 50 more. Oh, wait, they don't have the energy yet for it. do I, real free. I mean, well, yeah, I can only do 60. But if nothing else, Nino Queen can set up their bench pretty well. Give me a nice hand. Give me something to work with. Give me some cards. I have nothing. I'm getting totally out of hand in this match. I'm just checking to make sure. Is the webcam working right? It's decent. <sighs> Alright, now I'm all going to do surf. So Charizard. Here. 130 in a single turn. Which is why. Going to. This is the Battle Royal music, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully, you folks can hear that okay. That's the thing, like, I never know how loud it sounds based off of my the volume of my own voice. Roaring Resolve. So, we're gonna put two damage counters on Charizard with the ability, and then search for your deck for up to two basic fire and attach it. The attack only requires two basic fire. And there we go. For a measly 20 damage to themselves, they one shot my Pokemon. We got a lot. I'm gonna send up our Tim Pole. So we can use Bubble and flip the heads for paralysis. Take it. Thank you. Hmm. I'm thinking I should send Feebas up after Tim Pole goes down so we can start hopefully flipping some heads and getting some extra cards. I should have done that this turn, actually, because if I lose Tim Pole, oh, they're playing copycat to shuffle their one hand, their one card in, and then draw one card back to get cards number uh, equal to the number that I have. But anyway, I should have sent uh, Fiba, so if I lose Tim Pole and then I happen to draw a Alpha Toad, I wouldn't be able to play it. Is the problem. Okay, we're getting lucky. I'm not expecting any more heads. The luck is, you know, I'm basic. Oh no, maybe this is making up for. That uh, that match, I put what is it? Flip four tails in a row. Yeah, I'll take these heads. I've built up the uh, requirement. I, I deserve. It. So you've got a walk. Yeah. Is it 90 HP remaining? Not enough for Oshawa to get the KO. If I can start getting Palpatode, not Palpatode, uh, Duat and Samurai, that'd be great. I think I saw. Yep. Yeah, with that agility, they can be kind of annoying too. Flip heads in there and lead to all damage and practice next to him. I don't think. And that's actually the evolution I needed to get my challenge. Am I gonna quit right now? You know I'm not. Um, give this to Oshawa. I'm tempted to retreat and make one use of their search, because they're gonna one-shot us with their charge. So. I'm Actually, since I already have my challenge done, I'm going to stick with Temple for now. I really don't need to get more evolutions. There's the fence. I'll let them get the knockout on that, and then Milotic comes up, snags a whole bunch of uh, evolutions for us. And Rogue is heading out for the night. Well, good night to you as well. Thanks for hanging out as we try to get some of our challenges accomplished here in Pokemon TCG Online. And I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. There's the Roaring Resolve getting some energies onto their Charizard for the one hit KO. It's excessive too, the fact they're gonna lose all that energy to do the damage. It's a lot of damage, but then. Does this deck have blacksmiths in it? Or anything of the sort? Is it not? It really should. Just to help out with the energy retrievers. Hello to Dazzling Shell 101EX. Welcome to our stream tonight. See if I can get. Well, I'm about to get the water challenge complete. 
of Surge, because we're gonna integrate that onto our Oshawott here. So we definitely want to get Duot, Seam of Hot, and... Hmm. So I want to go on that. I'm gonna get an energy switch. Because we currently have, or we're going to have, more energy than needed on this Oshawott. So they're gonna have to use the ability Warden Resolve to get this Charizard with more energy. There's the Pokemon fan club being played, looking for a couple of basic Pokemon from the deck. Need a random pony tart chosen. Thousand Chills asking, did I catch their comments on the recent Pokemon Go video? I did, yes. I, I was going to respond to some stuff later tonight. I was reading what you had said, though. And, yeah, the thing about that weird, mysterious orb, you know, right here, is it, it seems to be there's just this one. That's why Giovanni didn't have it when he was in. So, we're getting close to, you know, figuring out... Hopefully we're getting close to figuring out where all of these Dragon Balls are at doing your part to help me out and check them out in the previous uh, Pokemon Go videos. Alright, now... Hmm. Let's do this actually. I'm going to send Feebas up. We evolve into Duot. I'm going to toss the energy switch. Give one from that Duot now onto our and we're going to add a dash, put a couple of heads right there. There's one. Draw one card. And that, ooh, and, and is not too bad. Plus, once I play Samurott, I don't need to worry about shuffling that back into the deck. We only need two prizes remaining after Feebass goes to the But at 80 damage, times two for weakness, we can take both of these Rapid Dash down pretty easily. And Farfetch goes down to one of those destructive whirlpools. I believe Nidoran goes down to destructive whirlpool. All right. The one thing that's going to be a problem is if they manage to flip heads for their agility. Oh, they're switching that out. Hmm. They don't have anything that can hit a target on the bench. I'm glad you didn't flip that heads. That would have flipped me out pretty bad. Alright, let's send up our Duots. And let's drop Samurai. Now, sorry about your hand there, sir, but it's gotta go. Toss that away. And, ooh, we got a Cybertoad. We got us Palpitoad. We ain't got us. Let's grab that onto our Oshawott just for doing so. Either attacks or not. So the Charizard can only do, well, okay, I shouldn't say it can only do X amount of damage. It can, actually no, they can't use Roar and Resolve again because they'll knock themselves out. So they're going to have to play two energy from hand to be able to use that attack again. What are you doing? You're going to do 110 to me? That's messed up. How dare you? Play Oshawott, just because I have it. The Destructive Whirlpool. Of course, we now lose our Samurott to this Rapid Energy. There's Tinfoil. So, I mean, you know, I don't even need to play the Evolution now because we do have it complete for sure. And Dazzling Show, you only found about half of the hidden Dragon Ball. Well, thank you for your efforts for what you did find. Even if anyone doesn't find the full collection of them all that have been hidden, just feel free to submit what you have. You don't need the full, the full set because I'm still going to use your help for whatever you did find. And you, like every sighting that you do have, if it is you know, confirmed when I go through it as well, that still is going to be one entry into this draw we're doing on Friday. So, yeah, what, whatever ones you found, feel free to mail that in. I should say email that in. Because it's definitely going to help. Oh, you did get the hex to check. We'll survive a hit. Probably two bowl just to say we did. Doesn't even matter if we try to attack. That is what that says, right? Uh, need to affect from attack, okay. So there's no point to attack. I'm not going to just in case, like, on occasion you'll see a card that says, if the opponent attacked last turn, do such and such. 
So I don't think they have anything like that in this deck, but just in case, if you're not going to do any damage or cause any effect at all, then there's really not much of a point to attack, because it's just going to possibly fuel them up. Unless you have a move, for example, like that Echoed Voice of Seismitoad right here. So you would want to do the, the attack, you're not going to hit them for any damage, but you're still going to do that extra 50 next turn. But there's always exceptions to each rule. I just went and explained how a base thing is overridden by this, but then overridden by that. It's kind of what's cool. Did you even see that? Echoes. That's what's cool with the game, the way certain cards interact. Just don't flip heads. Thank you. At least let me get one more knockout for one more point on my leaderboard versus thingy thing. Right, there we go. I'm trying to evolve the wrong species. Oops. Alright, waterfall for the double damage and the knockout. But one more energy on that Charizard means they win. What do you think is going to come up? Unless they have Charizard in hand. Box grip. Oh, they're going to do it. Alright. Wait, did I knock out a Charizard yet? I don't think I did. And, Sailor Pika, you say the Blastoise beat the Mock Strike deck? Nice! Destroy the Mock Strike. I should just quit right now because they have this. They got it. They're doing the uh, Orange Resolve. Gonna get enough energy to destroy Samurai. So, we know how that's going to end. We're at 60 tokens for completing that daily challenge. And let's see. I don't think we got enough points to move up to the next one on the Versus Lap. We're near it, but that's all well and good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since you folks have hung out with me for the evening, I'm gonna drop two of our Pokemon TCG online codes, both in the chat and on screen. So it's gonna be fun. You gotta choose which of the codes you go for. Let's see if you're quick enough. Here, the last elastic. Let's try to fly. Okay, so I've got. I'm gonna put this one in the chat. This is for X and Y Evolutions. Bear with me here, I gotta do two code typings. Once I send these codes out, we're gonna end off for the... This is more just a, like I said, a relaxed kind of casual thing. But we are going to, at some point, once the new the Vivid Voltage comes out, available for everybody, we're gonna do another stream for that as our day one interaction with the new players. So this is good. So that's an X and Y evolutions you'll get in just a moment. As I now put a code on screen under the old webcam as usual. And this one is for Roaring Skies from the other X and Y uh, series booster. Interesting code. It's almost got my name in here. You'll see what I mean momentarily. Well, maybe you won't. I don't know. You might even not pick up on me. Or I could apparently not even be typing. What happened there? I'm typing the entire code in. I should look up and make sure it's taking it. Okay, so far so good this time. And... Okay, that, I believe, is... Accurate. Okay. So, I'm going to try and do this the best way possible. I'm going to make this visible right now. Grab that, but you're also probably seeing in the chat at the moment, if I can get over there quick enough, you're seeing the other code in the chat. Get ready. Get ready. I'm getting myself ready. I'm checking the code. Isn't this exciting? Right, and I believe it is good to hurry up, me. All right. Couple of codes there for you. So Pika says, I think the Vivid Voltage comes out on Friday. Okay. And if so, yeah, we'll be doing a stream for that. And I'm going to have another Pokemon Go stream. I'm not sure, maybe this weekend? If not, maybe in the next, uh, the early next week. Because I want to see if we can do some little cup battles against each other. That might be fun. I'm having moderate fun with it. Kind of annoying seeing the exact same faces every time. You know, when I when I battle opponents, I want to see some new faces. I don't want to keep knocking the same things out. Get your Bronzors out of my way. Mud Bomb. Boom. Stop showing me Bronzor. Show me, like, you know. I actually see a lot of shield on me, too. And I, I think the idea is, with that little cup, a lot of people are using Pokemon that have the Charm Attack. Because that is a powerful move. I think it's like 20 base power for a fast attack. 
I don't think it charges the charge moves very quickly though. But I mean, it is still a move that they go for. But you know, a fairy type using it has the most effect. So you probably want to have like that seal resistance. So Bronzor is cool, but Shield on is a good option. And I wonder how well Aeron would do. So I'm not sure. Uh, see what people says. You'd love to have some little cup battles. And I, again, I do like at least the idea that they mixed up the different leagues. And yeah, yeah Dano is another one too that we see a lot of. Mm -hmm. Kind of like having a fairy type attack against him, which you know, is quite powerful. But uh, yeah, again, just like any of the leagues, you know, it starts out with a cool idea, but then there's people that I often think to myself, do you, do you know how to play the game, or do you just look at a list and say, I'm using the Pokemon everyone else is using? Because, you know, because they are effective, but it's like, just show some creativity. That's what I like to do myself. Anyway. I guess that's probably like the hipster way of looking at it. Dazzling Shell says, you have some lag on your side and you hate it. Well, it could also be lag from me. You know, my internet often isn't the best performer. But, I mean, that's going to be it for today anyways, because we have done two of our daily challenges. I'll probably tackle the rest of them, if not later tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow. But I think I'm done for right now. An active challenge. And I, wait a minute. Play me now. Okay. Thought that was gonna give me another one. But I gotta wait till 23 hours, 27 minutes for the next one. So I believe that confirmed. Oh, that 8 o'clock is when we get these new things. Alright, works for me. But yeah, we're gonna sign off for the evening. Thanks, folks, for hanging out for the day. I will give you one last reminder as we sign out for the Dragon Ball contest. Remember, Friday is the last day. Try to find as many of them as you can from the earlier Pokemon Go videos, and I'll show you that commercial in just a second. And if you don't find all six of the hidden Dragon Balls, whatever ones you find, please send them my way. Because not only is it going to help me track down where they are in you know, real life and be able to possibly... We're going to keep the wish from Team Go Rocket, but also kind of like the idea of using the wish for myself. But uh, it's also every one that you do find, even if it's not all six of them, that's going to give you an entry into the draw that we do. So you only find four, send the four that you have found. That's four entries for you. But that is it. Sailor so Pika saying have a good night, sending some Charizard hats and lap coats our way. I did also, by the way, see people's suggestions for other emojis, and I'm going to put, uh, put some time into that pretty soon to make some more, because I have space for like four more, and I want to give you folks more stuff to kind of play around with for being members of the channel. So as we sign off, speaking of members of the channel, I will first say, if you enjoyed today's stream, feel free to hit the old like button and let me know. And if you didn't, feel free to hit that dislike button, but only do that if you're going to tell me what can I do to fix it up. Because uh, constructive criticism is always a thing, but criticism itself doesn't really help unless I know what to do to fix it up. There's that option, but if you want to subscribe for some more Pokemon content from Professor Chaz, you can subscribe today, no cost, or for a monthly subscription fee, or no, monthly membership fee, for the technical, you can click the join button beneath the stream, see what uh, you know, perks you have available for joining up as either the Lab Rats or the Lab Aids. In addition to what you see in that screen, you get, uh, as long as supplies last, Pokemon TCG online code cards are available. If I can get an email address, for everybody who is a member, because YouTube has taken away the direct messaging option. I can no longer send you a direct message with the code for the month. But the codes, Lab Rats will get one code per month, Lab Aids get two codes per month. But I do need to have a way to send them to you, and YouTube messaging is no longer a thing. But you also get, up to the first 50 members of our channel, a guaranteed spot on my Pokemon Go friends list, which guarantees a gift every month for Lab Rats, a gift every week for Lab Aids, but generally more than just that, because I tend to get a lot of things as it is. But again, I need to have uh, not only, say, an email, a uh, Pokemon TCG online player name, Pokemon Go player name as well, to know who to send one to. So, I am keeping track of what people have not yet received, though, so don't feel like if you're a current member, you've missed out on something. I got a list of who's gotten what thus far. And hello to Benjamin Bullard! Thanks for popping in, but we are just ending off right now. We did, uh, did some of our Pokemon TCG online challenges, but we are done for the day. So once again, I'm going to give you folks the last little uh, reminder about our contest. And do I have a link in the description? I don't think I have a link in the description. Can I get a link in the description? Hang on one second. Or if not the description, then I'm going to see if I can grab one put in the chat for you. So you can at least review it if you need to get more information. Bear with me. Yeah, my internet is kind of going slow, so that's a thing. 
I'm going to my YouTube studio. Bear with me momentarily. Let me grab chat window. Oh, oh. That's the wrong one. I'm clicking all the wrong stuff. It happens. How do I get? Why is it not a backup? What did I just do? Ah, I'm clicking all the wrong stuff. This is great. You can't even see any of this. Can you? I don't think so. All right. Let us click the wrong button. We focus. I'm doing everything wrong. The link. All right. This should be fine. So here's the video you can watch. That is simply what we're going to see in just a moment here on the stream as we end off. Pause the music. But with that, it is now time to roll. So once again, folks, thank you for hanging out and watching our stream today. Uh, stay tuned for more streams coming up in the future. But for now, Professor Chaz is signing off, and I will catch you next time. And don't forget, Professor Chaz needs your help, everybody. Professor just needs your help. The seven Dragon Balls have been spotted in the city. I gotta get those Dragon Balls. Watch through Professor Chaz's past several Pokemon Go videos. Ever since around episode 106. To find the hidden Dragon Balls. When you think you found one, make a note. Episode number, timestamp, a visual description. Then, when your list is complete, email it with your name to dotmancomics at gmail.com with the title Dragon Ball Contest. For every correct sighting, to six, one per hidden Dragon Ball, you'll earn one entry into a random draw for a grand prize pack. The draw will take place on November 13th, 2020. The grand prize winner will receive five online booster packs of Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage, ten randomly assorted Pokemon TCG online code cards, a month of daily gifts in Pokemon Go, a bound copy of Dotman Comics Chapter 5, and a bonus mystery prize to be revealed at a later date. Five runner-ups will receive five Pokemon TCG online code cards and a week of daily gifts in Pokemon Go. Good luck, trainers!